Hi, I'm Simon from Henley Audio and welcome to our Closer Look series. Today, we're going to be looking at the A1 from Project Audio Systems. The A1 is part of Project's new Automat series, introduced for the first time during 2022. Project's company philosophy is to make products that sound great for a reasonable cost. The Project One started this tradition as the foundational product in 1991. It was a no-frills design, but offered exceptional value for money and a great sound. By the end of the 90s and the introduction of the project debut, that ethos had expanded to listening to customers who wanted to have a product that also looked great in their home, which is why the debut has always offered such a wide array of finish options. After that, we get the inclusion of things like speed control and things like USB phono stages, all things that the customer began to ask for more and more. Later, we begin to see the introduction of vertical turntables for those that are tight on space and want their record player to make a real statement. We also saw the introduction of the primary E during the 2010s, which was a true plug and play turntable and has inspired other models afterwards, such as the T1, because now we're bringing high quality, hi-fi sound straight to people with no inconvenience. The Automat series and the A1 being the first model in that range carries on that ethos. So what we see with the A1 is a fully automatic turntable from Project for the first time. Still built in Europe, still built to Project's rigid expectations of high quality sound, but now arguably with greater convenience than ever before. So let's dive into the box and take a look at what they have to offer. Okay, so inside, the first thing that we see are our instructions, the white sheet, multi-language instructions. And then on the nice picture sheet, we see a little bit of service information, some warranty information, and some good advice there. And on the back, a super simple step-by-step -step guide. The QR code should take you through to the A1 page on the website where you should be able to see a more advanced manual as well but that's everything that you need to set it up. Then, if I get the power supply out first in its own box, the rest of it should all lift out as one piece within its packaging with the RCA cables hanging below. So if I pick up all of that and get the box out of my way, I can put it back down. Okay, so this is the first project turntable with a new type of lid, um, and uh, these are the hinges for the lid. We then have polystyrene on both sides. So if we remove that from there, and then remove it from the other side, then again, they're done. We have our dust cover, which we'll show you again in a bit. Our cables fixed to the back. And then with inside all of the packaging, we have the turntable. And a little protective sheet over the spindle that can go. Here we have the A1 out of its box. First thing we'll notice is the big wooden construction. And everything around the A1 is built purposefully to minimize vibration transference. The only vibrations that should be picked up by the cartridge are the musical ones. And the whole design is engineered in that way. So we have a heavy wooden structure. Underneath, we're running on four silicon damped feet. And on the top, we have the main assembly. So the A1 is a fully project design turntable, but it utilizes the established Ferrenbacher automatic mechanism. What that means is that project are able to benefit from decades of experience in the automatic world. That means that the A1 is super reliable, and even though it's a new model on the market, it's already coming with proven technology. 
It comes supplied with a felt mat. We avoid the use of rubber mats because we find that rubber mats tend to over dampen the sound a bit too much. The main construction, including the platter and the tone arm tube, these are aluminium, but the platter itself is also damped with a TPE rubber layer around the edge just to help make it non-resonant. When we set up for the first time, we need to decide if we want to use the built-in phono stage. The A1 has a switchable built-in moving magnet phono stage, so you can choose to utilize it for true plug and play compatibility into anything with a line or an auxiliary input, or you can bypass the built-in phono stage if your amplifier has one or if you already have an external phono stage. It's a great way of upgrading the turntable later in use. And that's done by simply flipping this dip switch to the position that you need. The position that you need is detailed in the picture manual here. So when we've done that, we can put the felt mat straight back on. We remove the tone arm lock, which is in place only to help it during shipment. The cable that's included is Project's Connector E. The Connector E is quite special amongst budget turntables because it's designed specifically for turntable use. It's a semi-balanced design um, made entirely by project to their specification and it is the perfect solution for any turntable. So that comes pre-installed on the A1. The power supply is an international switch mode power supply. You pick the head that you require and you twist it into position, undo the cable lock and you plug it in on the back next to the connector E. With those elements installed and the turntable connected into your system, you can take the dust cover out a nice clear dust cover with the project logo printed in the top and you can slot on the hinges they'll just push into position when they're in place they line up with the L slots at the back of the chassis you push them in and there we go The tone arm is pre-aligned and preset for counterweight in its design. It's an ultra low mass tone arm, which makes it a perfect match for the OM cartridge from Autophon. Autophon OM cartridges were made at a time when the fashion was for low mass tone arm designs. So it is a perfect match for this. The OM also has the benefit of being from the world's number one cartridge manufacturer and it's also part of a series that has a number of stylus upgrade options available so if you want to improve the system further you have those options easily available but it is perfect for the OM10 out of the box. The tone arm is also finished with this new head shell which is reinforced with carbon fibre to help make it ultra stiff like the rest of the tone arm while still being low mass. Operation of the A1 couldn't be simpler. It's all controlled here in the assembly underneath the tone arm. To get playing, all you have to do is pick your record, place it over the spindle, select the speed that you want to either 33 or to 45, place the tone arm lift in the upward position, which means the arm is actually lowered, signified by this symbol of a diamond writing within a record groove. And then click start, the arm will lift up, go into position over the running groove of your record, and drop down to play. If at any point you need to re-cue the tone arm, you can use the lift lower mechanism to lift the arm up into the raised position, move, the arm over the track point that you want to play from and then drop it back down again. If at any point you're done listening 
and you need the system to stop, simply push into the stop position. The arm will automatically lift up, drop back down into its rest, and then at that point, the motor will turn off. When you've reached the end of the record side, the tone arm will instantly recognize that you've reached the end and it'll lift up, go back to its rest and then stop the record turning. The A1 is designed, so when setting the speed to 45 and hitting start, it makes the assumption that you're playing a seven inch record. So it comes with a jukebox adapter, you can use that if needed, put your seven inch record on and play automatically, ready to go. However, there are a number of 12 inch records that are set for 45 RPM as well. So I wanted to give you an idea for how I work around that. When I have a 12 inch 45 RPM record, there's a couple of workarounds that I use. First one is to set the speed to 45 RPM as I normally would and hit start, except this time I do it with the arm in the lifted position so it won't automatically drop into the record groove which means that when the arm gets into the position expecting a seven inch record i can manually cue it back and drop it down alternatively another option is to again put the arm in the lift raised position set the speed to 33 hit start so that the arm comes into the cue position over a 12 inch record. When it's in position, change my speed to 45. So the platter catches up and then lower down, ready to play. So let's see the A1 in action. So that's how you set up and use the A1 from Project Audio Systems, the first automatic model in their range and the first model in their new Automat series. I hope you enjoy what we had to say for you today and please subscribe to see more of this type of video in the future.